Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here in Ascoli Piceno at this uh, Ashoka event and to have an opportunity to share with you um, my uh, experience um, and uh, reflections related to positive aging in Africa and in Italy. Whether in Italy or in Africa, the importance of the role of elders is recognized. In many, uh, in many African cultures, many African cultures, uh, there is a proverb that says, an elder sitting on the ground can see further than a young person on the top of the tree. And Malian uh, philosopher Amadou Mpate Ba wrote that when an elder dies, it is like a whole library has burned down. Kofi Annan, the former uh, Secretary General of the United Nations, originally from Ghana, gave a speech in 1999 entitled A Society for All Ages. He said, a society for all ages is one that does not view older persons as patients or as pensioners. Instead, it sees them as both actors and beneficiaries of development. A society of all ages is multi-generational and it recognizes the common interests of different generations. Unfortunately, he went on, the influence of Western values with the focus on youth has had a negative influence on the status of elders in communities and on the relationships between elders and younger generations. In my work in Africa, I have often observed the negative impact of Western ageist values on elders. For example, in Malawi, I met this grandmother. She said, very often there are programs that come to our community that only involve young people. They invite only the young people to their training programs and then expect them to return and to teach us, the elders. That is disrespectful. In our culture, the ones who are supposed to be teaching them are us the elders. And in Senegal, where's my cursor gone? It's hiding somewhere. In Senegal, this elder similarly laments the fact that development programs in his community do not involve the elders. He said, several international organizations are working in my community but they are only interested in adolescents and women. They are not interested in our experience and knowledge. Many, many community leaders make similar statements regarding their non-inclusion in community programs. These two examples illustrate the harmful effects of youth-focused programs, the harmful effects that they can have on African elders, as Kofi Annan pointed out. Ashoka has a new initiative called New Longevity that supports a positive view of aging and of elders in all societies. In the global north, the population is aging, and in the global south, there is a breakdown in communication between elders and young people. Experts in the field of gerontology, Roe and Kahn, identified three key facets of positive aging. First, physical and mental health. In other words, the importance for elders to maintain their physical and mental health as much as possible through exercise, diet, etc. Second, connectedness with others, social support, and especially the value of relationships with young people. <coughs> Third, opportunities to contribute to the well-being of others and to society. Many studies have shown that both strong social support and opportunities contribute to the lives of others have a positive impact on elders' physical and mental health. Studies have also shown that social, social isolation and loneliness have negative effects on elders' health. 
<clears throat> excuse me, while the role of elders is embedded in African cultures, there is a growing weakening of relationships between elders and youth. In my work in, uh, with my team uh, in, in Senegal, the work of my organization, Grandmother Project Change Through Culture, a priority objective is to promote positive change in communities by building on what we see as a cultural resource, the elders, and especially the grandmothers, given that our program deals with children's education, child marriage, teen pregnancy, and female genital mutilation. Here are examples of the intergenerational activities that my team implements with communities in Senegal. Intergenerational forums. These forums involve three generations of men and women, traditional leaders, religious leaders, teachers, and community health workers. Days of praise of grandmothers to acknowledge their important role and experience. Grandmother leadership training to strengthen grandmother's confidence and their role supporting women and children, especially girls. All women forums that bring together adolescent girls, mothers, grandmothers, and facilitated by female teachers to strengthen relationships, communication, understanding between them. Workshops with teachers and grandmothers to develop friendship between them so that they can best together encourage and support the education and well being of children. Reading booklets on African values for schools, all of them, as you will as you see, with a grandmother or grandfather on the cover to recognize their important roles. Grandmothers in preschools and elementary schools, where they share their knowledge and experience to, to strengthen grandmothers and to strengthen grandchildren's relationship with them. We have observed very positive results of these activities that include and honor the role of elders. Through changes in attitudes towards elders and changes in attitudes that they have towards themselves. Our program, our intergenerational program, has increased grandmother's sense of confidence in the role, in their role in the community. Now, after dinner, children rush to sit with their grandmothers to listen to their stories. This grandmother said, Hawa Valde, she said, before I went into the school grounds, before when I went into the school grounds, someone would say, what is that old lady doing here? Now, when I arrive at the school, the children run to meet me and hug me. And when I leave the classroom, they sing a song of praise to me. This older man, a village head man, is a community leader who has been involved in Grandmother Project activities. He stated, other programs didn't involve us. In the activities with Grandmother Project, we are asked to share our experience. Now we feel useful to our society. African and Italian societies are very different, but in both, elders play an important role, especially contributing to the lives of the younger generation. For elders in both contexts, their sense of positive aging depends to a great extent on the social support they receive, on their involvement with others, on having opportunities to use their experience for the benefit of younger generations and the society at large. In Italy, compared to many other Western countries, the role of the family is still very strong. The role of elders is still very respected. Intergenerational relationships are valued. As a North American living between Italy and Senegal, I have observed here in Italy the very positive facets of these very positive facets of Italian society. 
I will conclude with a question. Given the trend toward more individualistic values, more youth-focused values globally, will the importance of the family, of the elders, and of the relationships between old and young here in Italy be maintained? And for those involved in programs to support the development and well-being of younger generations, in Italy or elsewhere, to what extent are elders involved and intergenerational approaches used? Lastly, what opportunities are there to further involve elders to benefit both elders themselves and the younger generation? Thank you.